How long have you been doing this? How long have you been in digital? So I've been digital now since, it's been about 13 years. Um, I would say really, um, I started off small, uh, doing web project management sort of independently, small mm -hmm. projects. Mm -hmm. um, gradually grew in that, uh, became a agency side creative uh, project manager. From about 2006 to 2011, I was doing a lot of just creative side agency, whether it's website builds or social builds. Started getting into mobile builds and overseeing mobile builds in the 2010 to 2012 years. And then moved to a, uh, another company, uh, Chris Media, where I oversaw their front end development team, their creative team in the development of some of you know customer's media advertisement in mm -hmm. mobile. Got a very deep understanding with all my background in digital and project management and execution, um, how how things work in mobile and what's different, and being you know working with best in class teams to you know really develop the you know pushing the envelope and what can be done, whether you're in app or on in a mobile browser and all the different things that can be done, and that exposure from the execution side up to the uh, sort of strategic what's possible, what can we do given the nature of uh, you know the guardrails that are in place, mm -hmm. the technical or the privacy or the uh, the client guardrails that are in place became you know very uh, immersed in mobile as a media mm -hmm. and uh, what's working and what's not and uh, what tactics are there and sort of that sort of that evolution from being the execution driver to being a credible source on the strategic uh, the strategic vision was something that the um, you know when I moved over to Zaxis I started to leverage even more you have to think that it's been a crazy strange trip yeah. of the evolution of mobile coming out of the evolution of digital marketing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what are you seeing that's happening and is effective this year, 2015, that marketers can deploy that you're excited about? Yeah. That you're a fan of. Yeah. And one of the one of the you know the position of our company is specifically at the pro programmatic edge and at the for the top edge, we look to innovate in the macro right. so that we can create that we can see effect in the micro. So a lot of what I see are the uh, you know the tectonic shifts in the industry. Um, so while there might be individual vendors or individual capabilities who do really cool things, sort of like one off here and there, mm -hmm. the stuff that I'm looking at is you know what can really grow the industry from being from being adolescent to you know to upper teens, even being adult level maturity in mobile. So the drivers of that primarily for me are. Um, you know, the ability to connect users across devices using mm -hmm. privacy compliant methodologies and there are different vendors in this space, but this idea that we can do person-based marketing as opposed to channel-based marketing, getting out of that silo. And so all that's been spoken about for years, I see it now being leveraged, you know, really well. There are individual gotchas, right. like Linovo catches, like, you know, you know, traversing from an app environment to a mobile web environment to a desktop environment. Um, there are, it's not all seamless, it's not all perfect, um, you know, and as, but the capabilities are, are there for us to refine. It's not just a dream. And as we, you know, as we start to work, the more experience we get with them and the more technical innovations that the, that the, uh, the our, that we or our partners or other vendors are, are enabling allows us to get better and better. Do you think that the, the audience is becoming more digitally savvy? Are they more tolerant of those little stumbles as it goes from platform to platform, or are they less tolerant? You know, as the advertising itself, we try to like, does, does mobile display work? Is it all about mobile video? What about mobile native? You know, ad units that annoy people, um, you know, are annoying to, um, so I'd say that, I'd say that the, the younger generations are even less tolerant of annoying intrusive on their phones. The phones are a personal screen. It is not seen primarily as a media screen. So you really have to be uh, very subtle in uh, how you uh, bring users into your advertising messaging. But on the other hand, I think that, um, you know, I have I have teenage children, and I speak to my uh, you know, and that's just a you know a sample of a few. It's not the whole and no no study from New Yorker or anything, but they recognize now that digital makes sense because my son does you know he's happy to see an ad for Nike shoes or Champ Sports. That's what he wants to see. He wants to know what's coming out there. So, the the, the general concept that if we do it right. There, there is a buy-in that it is uh, an opportunity to connect users or consumers to the brands that they like. And the, pro and the idea of tailoring messages and person-based and knowing something about someone and giving them advertising interactions that make sense for them, I feel is, you know, I feel that the savviness helps encourage that as long as we as creative people and as advertisers do it well.